And a perfect day for football here at one of the great traditional venues in the English game, Tuff Moor. This is Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Burnley up against Aston Villa. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kick-off. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Charlie Taylor. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they've got such a healthy lead, haven't they? You just don't see them dropping too many points. They will suffer a lack of form at some point, but it's whether they can be caught from behind. The real difficult thing for the clubs chasing is they just look so good. Absolutely brilliant. Have a great game. Thanks. Good game. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Thanks. Hey. Good luck. And this is the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Ben Nee plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Thank you. Enjoy We're thinking 4 3 3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers and will stay high and wide. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And the game begins. Kevin Malcui, James Tarkovsky, Whitaker. I oh, just couldn't keep the ball. Well, for Burnley, you have to conclude everything went to plan in their win against Southampton. What are your thoughts on what we might see in this match, Lee? Well, Derek, a lot of hard work done away from home, a clean sheet to boot as well. 1 0. Chances on. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. And he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper, who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. One nil then. So a throw in here. Charlie Taylor. And very deftly cut out. Good looking ball. And players waiting in the centre. Westwood. Rojas with it. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Using his strength to shield the ball. Can he finish? And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here it is again, and what a team effort this is. Pass, pass, pass. We love to see goals like this. In the end, there's nothing the defence can do about it. Brilliant, wonderful goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. It's going their way. 
Lansbury. News of a goal at the Emirates, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Sergio Aguero. A lovely swerving run that culminated in a cheeky flick finish past the keeper. 22 minutes played. Great opportunity. Can he convert? Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from here. He's taking some stick. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Ben Mee. Well, look at the stats. Burnley enjoying the bulk of possession here. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Chance to finish. A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Well, here's the replay. It's a really lovely through ball. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. Well, it's turning into a real shocker. This is the very reason, Derek, I'm not a manager. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Well, we had to interrupt Alan McAnally in full flow there. Apologies for that. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. And options in the centre. Not cleared away, but at the expense of a corner. Over it comes. Fisted clear. Oxlade Chamberlain. Had a chance to whip it in here. And it's still on for him. What a vital intervention. And he's fired over the corner and clears his lines. Lucas Vasquez delivered into the area here. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. Trezeguet. Good defending to prevent the chance. Well, the shot more than decent. It had power, just couldn't find the target. Westwood. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And he read it really well. Fine save. And firing it into the area. Foiling them effectively. It's there for him. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, as we can see, the keeper's done his best, but there's nothing he can do from there. He's not going to miss that one. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? A lopsided contest, 4-0. Number nine, Chris Wall. Wesley. And well, a good tackle. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway John McGinn Goodmanson Wood with it oh he's really up on the up here can they get in behind them able to get his body in the way he's driven in the corner and a goal kick is the outcome News of a goal at the Emirates, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Ilke Gundogan. A beautifully placed looping header back over the keeper and then off the far post. 53 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Matias Rojas. On to me. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Burnley facing West Ham United. Yeah, it's very easy to build a case for those two teams to make that game a real cracker. You should be tuning in for that one. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Poor pass. Wood. This looks promising. And Chris Wood plays it back. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Well, something has happened at the Emirates Stadium. A goal has been scored. Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester City. It's so been scored by Ilke Gundogan. Rather fortunate to have a long-range effort come off a defender. Leave the keeper the room. 66 minutes 3-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Kevin Matui. Here's Tarkovsky. Jay Rodriguez and that was a very fine read so 20 minutes to go Wesley just a reminder we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV it's Aston Villa taking on Newcastle United. Well, that should be a really interesting matchup atmosphere. I'm sure we're going to get an absolute belter, Derek. Me. Here's Tarkovsky. Oxley Chamberlain. It's with El Ghazi. Lansbury. Well, couldn't keep it. An incisive pass. McNeil laid into the centre. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. El Ghazi. Wesley has it. McGinn. Now with Malcui. Tarkovsky. Well, let's see if something comes of this. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. And a substitution in the offing. Matt Target. And only two minutes remaining here. 
Watkins. Well, totaling up all the stoppages. We'll have two additional minutes. Chance to do damage. So now it is final. This match is over. And a positive result for the Clarets League. Well, it must be a dream as a striker to play in this team. They create for fun and have a lovely attacking style about them. Clinical finishing today as well. In the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance. Ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10. Using his strength to shield the ball.